All right, so for this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, any Chrome extension to your Chrome browser when you're using a Chromebook. Say that three times. All right, so uh, you're going to notice at the bottom here, I'm going to go and select the magnifying glass. And if you choose all apps uh, in that pop-up window, uh, the quick, quickest way to get there is to uh, select Web Store. So we're going to go to the Chrome Store on the web. And this is where you can search for uh, Chrome apps as well as Chrome extensions. And we're going to look for the one uh, called Screencastify. Okay, make sure I spell it correctly. Once you do that, whenever you're in the Chrome web store, it will search for things that pertain to Chrome apps as well as extensions. So the one that you want is in the extensions section. And it's this one, Screencastify. You're going to notice that I've actually already added it to Chrome because there's no longer a blue Add to Chrome button. Uh, and it's now asking me to rate it. But if I just click on this, for any Chrome uh, extensions or apps that you think you might be interested in, it's important to act, at least look at the reviews, um, see how many people are using it. Uh, you don't want to download something just for the sake of downloading it and adding it to your um, Chrome experience. Uh, so went ahead and added it to Chrome, and you'll actually notice that this is the icon for Screencastify. Uh, and I actually have a red dot saying that I'm recording at this particular time. Uh, word of caution, you don't want um, too many Chrome extensions in your uh, own Chrome. And if you look at my example right here, I probably have way too many. Uh, the more extensions you have, the slower your experience is going to be in terms of processing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So that's how you add a Chrome extension uh, in your browser.